Hello everybody, it is Stefan Jubeir from the Stefan Jubeir Guitar Academy and in today's video I'm going to discuss the uh, Phrygian mode with you which is the third mode of the major scale and it's also if we, com if we put it to the minor, the relative minor, it's also the fifth mode of the relative minor. So typically what would happen is the third mode of the major would then be the fifth mode of the relative harmonic minor. So basically in the key of C your third mode would be the E Phrygian mode. So you would have an E minor chord which is the third uh, uh, the third degree of C because in the key of C in C major just bringing it back to the major for you to have an understanding we would have C D E which again gets formed by tone tone because the scale formation of a major is tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone so we get to the third mode which is the Phrygian mode and immediately when I play this we can hear there's a bit of tension in the air. We can just hear that that sound is coming through. So the third mode of C major is an E minor. Now if we think about the relative minor of C, it's A minor. So if we take the relative minor of C, we'll have A minor, a 1, 4, 5 would typically look like this. What we have there is A minor, D minor, I'm playing A in the bass as a suspension, E dominant 7th, and then back to A minor. Now that E belongs to the mode of the Phrygian dominant which is the fifth mode of A harmonic minor. Basically, a Phrygian dominant is the same as a Phrygian scale, but with a major third instead of a minor third. So I'll just use the E Phrygian to explain how this goes. So you've got a root. So I'm going to use the standard Phrygian, the third mode of C major. Root, minor second, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor sixth, minor seventh, back to the root. I'm in the area of string group one, four, six. Now the harmonic minor is basically a natural minor scale with a raised seventh. So what I'm saying is it's like a C major scale where you raise one degree. So we'll just come, go back to C major for a moment. If I raise the fifth degree, so I get a C major with an augmented fifth. That will equate to the relative minor, which is the A harmonic minor. And likewise, that would be like a Phrygian with a major third. So you've got a root, minor second, major third, fourth, fifth, minor sixth, minor seventh, and a root. And we can hear in the sound the adding the major um, third creates quite a lot of tension there. You know, you can hear that. Beautiful sound that you get with this region. So let us take it to A now. That was just an explanation of how the various harmonies work together. If you do not understand what I'm talking about there, if it sounded to you like a lot of Greek, it's because it's not an easy thing to understand. It requires quite a lot of understanding of the music and understanding of music theory. When I teach in my online Zoom lessons, I always go through the very basics. So I would start off my students with what is a C major scale, what is a D Dorian? We would go through all the modes and eventually get to this point. So if you don't get this in the first, you know, the first time you watch it, just watch it and just look at the concepts, but don't worry too much. It's actually more an advanced concept. 
But in this specific video that we're doing today, the most important thing is just to discover the Phrygian mode and what it stands for. You know how it sounds and just make you aware of the Phrygian mode, which is the third mode of the major scale. So let us go to A, just because it's an easy place for you to play and to work on the fretboard. It falls right in the middle of the fingerboard. It's easy for the, for, the, for the human body to play in this region. So I often use that as a place to start from. And I also use that because students kind of get their way around this area. If I go to A flat or I go to B flat, people get confused. So I, I select A just to make it a bit easier for students. Okay. So basically, we're going to do the Phrygian mode now in A. So I'm going to just play through the scale. You can look in the description below. There is a tablature um, for the scale, so you can just download the PDF and uh, print that out and follow along with the lesson or just play it through at home or wherever you are. Okay, so let me, let me continue now further into the Phrygian mode. Okay, so we have 146 for the area, which means position one. So root, minus second, minus third, fourth, fifth, minus sixth, minus seventh, root. So once we reach the root, we're going to continue further. Root, minus second, then minus third, fourth, fifth, there's our fifth, minus sixth, minus seventh, root, Minus second, you can hear that minus second is the characteristic sound. Minus third. Really beautiful sound that we get from this, this mode. And now I'm going to play the Phrygian with a major third. Root, minus second, major third coming up. There we can, we can see we've got this, what we call a tone and a half gap in between. Beautiful sound in the bass as well on that, you know. You can hear often associated with Spanish music. So, root, minus second, major third, fourth, perfect fifth, power chord, minus sixth, minus seventh, root, minus second, major third, fourth, fifth, sixth, flat seventh, root, minus second, major third. Simply a stunning sound. So what you can do is you can learn it in two ways. Learn the closed position in position one. And that's going to be, I'm just going to play the Phrygian, the standard Phrygian. I won't go through the degrees, I'll just play it. So that is basically the closed positions all in the same box. And then there's the three notes per string fingering. The same with the Phrygian, we can have the closed position. Which is the Phrygian major third for that one. And then we can have the three notes per string version. So learn both of those versions. So that's basically it for this lesson. We're just discovering this sound of the Spanish music and uh, what I'll do now is just play a little bit around it for you so you can have a taste of what it sounds like.
So thank you so much for listening to me. And as you can hear, there's such an atmosphere in this, you know, Phrygian mode. Um, it can transport one to another dimension. So I'd like you to go and experiment it and uh, experiment with it and actually go and try it out. And something that you should do is just get to know the scale and play an open string. So if you play an a open A and then you would do even just on one string, root, flat two, flat three, four, Five flat six flat seventh root. And you keep that going, you just play around it. And you can just hear the atmosphere there. And you can just hear the sound of that mode and get it in your ear and just improvise and just try to play around with it. Another thing you can do is to get to know the, the, the first position and then just um, search for a backing track, you know, a Phrygian, a Phrygian uh, backing track. There should be plenty of them available on YouTube and you can just have a jam and kind of get to know the sound. So that's, that's, that's what I'd like you to do and just enjoy the sound that it, uh, that it provides. And also, when you do practice it, make sure that you do play and say the degrees to kind of get to know where things are located. Make sure that you know that the root note is here, the flat two is there, flat three is there, major third is there, fifth is there, flat seven, flat six. Because that will open things up for you if you know where things are located. So thank you once again for spending some of your time with me. Um, as always, please subscribe, please share the video, leave some comments and thank you so much.